So we're getting ready to uh, <laughs> take these guys um, and divide up their cage and divide them up a little bit since it's getting kind of crowded in here because everybody got so big. Um, they're looking kind of ugly with their um, the feathers coming in. This guy's especially curious. He says, what are you doing? Hey, bud. But look how big they've gotten. It hasn't, it doesn't feel like it's even been that long since we got them. Um, but they are huge. And look, I've got a captive audience. They're saying, what the crap? <laughs> what are you doing over there? But they look great. <laughs> Those are some handsome birds. They've got combs coming in and new feathers coming in. Some of them don't look like they've got combs coming in, so that will be interesting to see. All right, it's been a couple days, um, and it's been a while since we checked and counted all the babies, so I just want to get in there. It's the middle of the day. It's kind of warmer today. So we're going to get in and we're going to look at the babies and Philip's going to film for me. So let's, whoop. oh, I already hear him peeping. Hi, pretty girl. Do you see those white? The white oh, and look at this cutie. That that that's a panda. <laughs> they're so cute once they start getting fur on them. I mean, they're cute before they look like. I think they look like little baby hippos. Um, okay, so we've got one. That one looks like panda though. And we want to kind of move quickly, but not too quickly. Come on. Oh, there's another panda. There's another panda. We did breed her with pandas, so it's not <laughs> strange. That yeah, that first like one him. looks like the color right. is coming. There's another one. That's some. Um, that's different spotting. All right. Definitely heavy on that Rex gene. Oh, and there's our silver fox. Oh, he's cute. Whoop. All right. There's another one. We got some good fat tummies, so we know they're getting fed. Alright, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five. She's being a good first time mama. Yeah. Even you're though doing there's a good not job, mama. there's not any others. Six. You can really see that broken black otter color. Seven. And I mean look how big those tummies are. There's She's there. doing a good job feeding them. Um good job, Mama. You hear these babies peeping? Oh, they, they all just kind of fell back in. Yep, some of them kind of crawled. So, um, baby bunnies don't open their eyes um, until they're a couple weeks old. So, they generally don't leave the nest um, until three weeks. Some do a little bit earlier because they're crazy. Uh-oh, did we... I didn't move the fur out of the way enough to cover them back up. Good job, Mama. Good job. Good job. So, um, you can see, I mean, they're active. They're peeping. They're making some good noise. Um, we've got nice full bellies, so she's obviously been in there. <laughs> you want to get in? Look how active they are. They're jumping yeah. around. They're real excited. Um, good looking babies. Healthy looking babies. You're a good mama. She's been a great first time mom. Looks like we got a. Somebody's upside down. We got some feet up in the air. No, they'll get adjusted. She's been. She's been taking some good care of them. Rosie. Yeah, look at them, Rosie. They're so cute. 
They look like pan. Look, look at that one. That that you got your panda. <laughs> got your panda baby. They look like their papa. All right. I'm just trying to reach in there, to make sure under them in. and pull the fur back on top, since they kind of hopped back in there without the fur. And then we'll, of course, put the blanket back over them so they're warm. Warm. Um. It has been cold. It's warmer today, and the moms are usually pretty good about keeping them covered and, and warm and stuff, but especially checking the nest. I mean, we don't want them to get chilled because they're babies and good. Oh, she's in there checking now. Good mama. She's making a sure. She's tucking them back in. I think she may feed them, but she might. That's a good sign. She's a good mama. Um, we're really thrilled. We were kind of worried where it's her first one, and we don't have any other um, females, females right now with her. Um, a lot of first-time moms really struggle. Um, I mean, even human first-time moms struggle, but um, rabbit first-time moms, a lot of times they don't. They'll lose that first litter or really struggle because they don't know um, how to, to care for them. And so we're really excited that these babies are doing so well and that she's being so good with them and taking such good care of them. I mean, she's still in her nest box right now. Um, she's probably getting them good and covered up again. Um, but she's been such a fantastic mom and we're really excited um, to see how these babies grow and what they end up looking like and and that kind of stuff we've had some people ask us about um so buying know. buying them or or what we're doing and i know rosie for sure wants to keep at least one that looks like panda so we'll see rosie has some real creativity when she's playing with play-doh a lot of times she'll make uh little roses and things We've actually talked about getting her some fondant or making some fondant and letting her decorate some cakes. So right now she's making an octopus. Do you want to flip it over so we can see the tentacles carefully? Let's not make it stick to the table. Look at that. Attention to detail. What, honey? see what are you making it looks like we've got hi ho cherio out and she's making a pie a cherry pie yes looks like it awesome yep that's awesome maybe we'll do a video with rosie decorating a cake <laughs> Maybe. She finished. <laughs> Look at the cute little row she put on the top. There's a hat. Good job. I love it. It's cute. <laughs>